The Queen is dead, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we all hang our heads and mourn for Queen Elizabeth II, who has passed in the last couple of weeks uh, over in the United Kingdom. And uh, long live King Charles III. Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to report here on the report from Tiger Mountain that I am a shameless monarchist. And I will talk to you about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Alright ladies and gentlemen, yes I am a supporter of the monarchy, so I've been in mourning for Queen Elizabeth II, who I think um, did a rather stellar job um, as Queen for the last 70 years, as long as I've been alive, and as long as most people I know have been alive, so basically everybody uh, we know outside of people over the age of 70 have been uh, alive during the reign of uh, Queen Elizabeth II. So uh, I think, you know, it's very significant, a very uh, timely changing of the guard. Her son, um, the Prince of Wales, was one of the, the, the longest, I think, Prince of Wales in waiting, which is the king in waiting, for uh, uh, around that same time as well, 70 years, so uh, it's kind of extraordinary. He's now become King Charles III Third, so I would like to welcome our new king and uh, doff the hat to the new king. Now, I mean, obviously, I think it's interesting to discuss this issue because there are people within um, within the right that have different opinions of the royal family and stuff. And um, you know, let's discuss that. You know, um, you know, I think there are many people on the right who are monarchists, like myself. Um, now, does that mean I think that the monarchy never does anything wrong or has never been involved in mischief? Of course not. I'm not that stupid. I imagine they have been involved in a lot of mischief over the years. There are there are people in the freedom movement though, uh, you know, the anti-vax movement, all this stuff, that often dislike um, the Queen and there's been a lot of, you know, they've been celebrating the death at times, which I think has been in particularly bad taste. Oh, they're saying, you know, all the various pedophiles, they're always obsessed with pedophiles, but like, you know, obviously uh, there have been people like that that have um, surrounded the royal family. Obviously Jimmy Savile had a friendship with uh, King Charles, and well, Prince of Wales at the time. But I, I just think, you know, I mean, how many people does Prince Charles know? How many celebrities? He knows thousands upon thousands of them. So it's not surprising that one of them would be dodgy, you know, and that, you know, for whatever reason he was probably fooled and and not you know given the correct advice to distance himself from someone like that and then of course you've got something like prince andrew you know um you know who is obviously uh i don't think you know i think prince andrew is probably interested in screwing 20 year olds and things like that and that someone like epstein just slipped in the 16 year old on him you know what i mean as, as a kind of blackmail thing so i mean the very fact though that um you know like a mossad backed um jewish uh blackmail operation wanted to blackmail a member of the royal family shows that they're not in league. Uh, so I think that's actually a positive sign. So uh, surprisingly enough, I find what happened with Prince Andrew, I mean, obviously he was stupid to ever get involved with someone like Jeffrey Epstein, but I think he was fooled. I think it was a kind of honeypot. I think, you know, because Epstein had legal age prostitutes who were 20 years old. I imagine he was partying with them. And then next thing you know, he, he's had the 16 year old slipped in on him and he's got himself in trouble. And that was the whole point of the whole operation, ladies and gentlemen. I imagine that happened with a lot of other celebrities and a lot of other well-to-do people who were tricked by Jeffrey Epstein, because that was the whole point of it. So, you know, I think there have been various scandals uh, around the royal family. Lord Mountbatten was another one, you know. I mean, for example, Prince Philip. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Prince Philip got up to the odd, you know, mischievous thing over the years. But the Queen herself, I think, set a fine example. And not only that, it's it's the idea of the aristocracy and the monarchy as a kind of um, template um, for the symbolic, I think as Jordan Peterson put it, you know. And I think that any country that's a member of the Commonwealth uh, and that has, had, has been connected to the British monarchy is very stable now. And I think um, that's a fantastic thing. And there's something wonderful, I mean, about the pomp and pageantry, even though I, I am a fan of the monarchy, but in the past, you know, with the passing of Queen Elizabeth, even I'm a bit sick of the, the pageantry and pomp. I mean, it's been like a uh, pomp and ceremony overdose the last few weeks. But, you know, I mean, look, she did do an amazing job and uh, I did shed a tear for her when I heard the news. And I think, um, you know, I, I think all true Australians um, should support support her and you know obviously we should also um, reject all this uh, talk that all the lefties are carrying on about in relation to um, you know like uh, the Republic and also oh, Aborigines suffered you know due to colonizer you know blah 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 like fuck off you know what I mean like the system we have is um, one of the greatest in the world and I think there was a, a report from Forbes or um, some overseas body that a 
Australians are basically the, the wealthiest people in the world per capita. Um, you know, I think there's something like two million millionaires we have in Australia. So we've got it pretty good down here in Australia, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, and I think our system of government, which is uh, Westminster system and, uh, you know, with the head of state being the monarchy, I think that's worked well. I mean, I think the House of Windsor is not perfect. I don't even think Charlie's perfect. Charlie's been sucking up to the globalist a bit. He seems to be enamored with the whole climate change thing. So I've got to watch him, you know. Um, but, you know, he, he might, though, ameliorate this thing. He might not let the globalists go too far, which is obviously, um, uh, as far as I can tell, they want to basically, you know, make it so that you can't have the heater on in winter and things like that. So maybe Charles will stop it at, at that kind of thing that will attack the his his subjects so ruthlessly. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it is the reign of Prince, Prince sorry, King Charles III. And uh, I salute our new king. And I think you should all support the monarchy here at the report from Tiger Mountain. So that's my thoughts. So God save the king and Queen Elizabeth II. We shall miss you. Goodbye.